uh, head of Nevada's uh, COVID-19 task force, but today announcing his latest venture, which is a new SPAC titled Akia's acquisition. Jim Murin joins us today. Jim, it's great to have you. Good morning. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, congratulations on this. Um, focused on, uh, you call it experiential entertainment, but live events, family entertainment, destination hospitality. It sounds like an area where um, you could probably find a few bargains right now. Well, we uh, we have a great team with us. Uh, the founders that are part of this uh, SPAC with us have been expert in these fields, and we have an incredible board of directors that have been literally shaping their industries in sports, in theater, live entertainment, and in digital entertainment. So we we feel like we're uniquely positioned. We know most every company in this field, whether it's digital entertainment or live entertainment, and we're excited about the ones where we can partner with existing management, work with them to grow their business, and see them propel on the other side of COVID. Is it too simplistic to call it a play on reopening or therapeutics or vaccines because of the live element? Because I noticed you mentioned digital a couple of times, and, and you do talk about some mobile experiences, too. Well, we're very much aware of what's happening in live entertainment today, and many of our friends are in that business. And so we will be sitting down with those type of companies to see how do we help them get from here to the other side of COVID. We will be interested in companies if they are in live entertainment, if we believe we can add digital experiences to their business. Some of these folks just didn't get to a digital strategy um, by the time 2019 rolled around. And so we think we can help in that regard. On the digital side, some companies have actually been beneficiaries of the lockdown that we've had here in the United States and around the world. And in those cases, we're looking at companies that we can marry some of their experiences to the live entertainment space. So there's a convoluence, I think it's, I'd call it an integration between digital and live entertainment. That's gonna be our sweet spot. We're a relatively small SPAC. We did so, so that we could be seller friendly, partner with management, help that management grow their business <clears throat> and particularly accelerate coming out of COVID. Hey, Jim, good morning. It's John Fort. Uh, Fitch Ratings is estimating that the Vegas Strip won't recover to pre-pandemic levels until 2024. And Vegas is a town that's remaking itself at least every decade physically, tearing down buildings, putting up new ones. Do you have any specific predictions about whether there's going to be one of those physical remakes during this period? And if so, what facilities-wise will be different as a result of this time? So I think the recovery will be far sooner than that. I believe that 2021 will still be a transition year as we are starting out here to learn how to safely open up live entertainment events for the employees and the guests. And I think that is going to be a series of health safety measures. Uh, we cannot wait for the vaccine to be fully distributed uh, in order to do that. And I don't think we will have to because of some of the technology that we see coming into play, but I don't think it'll be t until 2022 where we'll see a more robust, fulsome recovery, but I think we'll see it that year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.